In today's Psych News, why missing sleep wrecks your mental health. And no, it's not because you're bad at coping. I'm psychologist Dr. Becky, and today I'm talking about sleep, the most underrated mental health intervention that nobody wants to prioritize at this time of year. Because when you don't sleep enough, your brain doesn't feel just tired, it becomes emotionally dysregulated. Here's what the science shows. When you're sleep deprived, the amygdala, the brain's threat center, becomes hyperactive. At the same time, the prefrontal cortex that helps you regulate emotions, put things into perspective and think rationally, goes offline. So emotionally, it's like giving the steering wheel to a toddler and asking them to try and navigate traffic in rush hour. That's why after poor sleep, you feel more anxious, you become irritable, everything feels personal and small problems feel ginormous. And it's not because you're dramatic, it's because your brain literally cannot calm itself down. Sleep deprivation also disrupts key neurotransmitters. Serotonin drops, dopamine becomes unstable, cortisol stays elevated, which means your body stays in stress mode even when nothing stressful is happening. This is why lack of sleep can look exactly the same as anxiety, depression, emotional burnout, or even trauma symptoms. And here's the really important part. Sleep is when your brain processes emotions, especially during REM sleep. Without it, emotional memories stay raw, unintegrated, and you become easily triggered. So after a bad night's sleep, negative thoughts do not disappear easily. They feel far more convincing. Not because they're true, but because your brain has lost perspective. And over time, chronic sleep loss quietly erodes at your mental health. It changes things like motivation, confidence, and emotional resilience, which often leads people to think something is wrong with me. Nothing is wrong with you, you're just sleep deprived. So the takeaway is this, sleep isn't a luxury, it's not self-care, it's absolutely mandatory for your mental health. And if your mental health feels worse after a few days of bad sleep, that's biology, it's not a weakness. So put your sleep first and judge your life later. And that's today's Psych News.